Hello, my name is Craig. I'm going to be showing you how to fold this. Basically, there's multiple equilateral triangles. So I'm going to show you how to fold this out of a normal printer paper, a sheet of printer paper. We're going to convert this into multiple equilateral triangles. For this tutorial, all we're going to need is a sheet of paper, blank paper. To begin with, we're going to have we're going to want to fold this in half. Increase. Then we're going to want to fold each end to the center as indicated. This will create four equal sections. Okay, I've drawn three points to indicate the, the, these creases right here. You want to fold from this center crease, fold up. And it's like folding a plane, not here, but we're going to fold to this crease right here. So we're going to use this point on this crease to this center, to the center crease. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now, the next one is we're going to fold over from this corner, this point up here, to the center crease now. Center crease to this point down here. center crease to this point now the same thing from this side over center crease this point to center crease to this corner right here rolled if you want to roll it like this it'll make it easier All right, we have two creases now going diagonally this one and this one Okay, the next one is on this one. If you can see, we have this crease, and we also have this crease. We already have a triangle there. Nice, perfect equilateral triangle. So we move on from this one, we're going to create a, another crease going across. So what I do is put my finger here, fold it over, and then there's a crease right here. We want to align that with this, this line right here. So we keep rotating until there's a line here to this so there's a nice triangle in here and we want to do the same thing on the other side you put your finger here and you fold the whole paper over and then you use this indication line to match up with the back line then we crease okay so we're starting to see the pattern so we're gonna do the same thing to the next one we start in here we keep moving up from here we fold over and we're gonna use this line if it's folded over just flip it over like this you could use this indication line right there this crease the crease we created here you could use this right here to match that up that goes across same thing with this corner, we're going to draw another crease this way. Put finger here, fold over, fold it, flip it over. We're going to use this crease that we already created, and we're going to line this up with that crease. Okay. So now we keep going up to this one and we're going to do this crease because we've done these two creases right here. So we're going to keep moving up this one. So this one is easier. You just fold down 
and use this indication crease right here this one right here you line it up and you could use this line and it matches up this crease the one we, we did in the beginning the more you do this you you recognize the pattern and it'll be easier to make so the same thing with this corner fold down we're going to use this crease as an indication let me show you this crease right here fold this down and we're going to line this up just like that so we have two more left this one's up here this one just the flap goes down and it goes with this crease right here that we created this crease and this goes down and we fold we finally do the last corner we're going to use the same crease we created right there and this one's going to go down to that one there you have it we have successfully made a multiple equilateral triangles Then you could cut these out and you have multiple triangles. Now, here's a quick bonus. We're gonna turn this, our equilateral triangles, into a pyramid. So we're gonna just need scissors. We wanna cut this triangle down here off. We're gonna cut this triangle off. Basically the ones that are not complete. This is a half equilateral triangle. We don't want this one Oops. Now the bottom is different we're gonna cut the center triangle off and these edges off right here Okay. All we're gonna need is tape for this one. So have it just like this. We're gonna cut right here. We're gonna make this cut. One, two, three triangles up to this point. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do. So we cut down here to the center. There we go. So now we already have creases here, so this one's gonna fold up and this one's gonna fold up as well. Now these ones, these flaps up here come up like this and this one's gonna go under. So basically there's gonna be a center crease, this one, this center crease, fold in, over, and you're gonna see that these match up. So it creates a nice little triangle here. If you want, you could tape this right here. I'm gonna do it right now. So just tape this right here. That's so, all. This triangle comes in, and this little flap goes inside of it. As well, this flap, this little flap comes in, and it slides in here. This is so. And we created a nice little triangle. Oops. Yeah.